Good evening, this is me Cotton Visa and today I'm going to show you how you can create views or GUI in Xcode without using storyboard or XIV files. We will just be using code and we'll be programmatically creating views. So let's get started. So let me create, I'll close this thing and create a new Xcode project and I'm going to call this thing my one two three name it anything you want as long as you can remember things so we do not have storyboard here and we do not have view controller dot h and m that we would generally get when we are doing single view application so if i run this application right now i think we might be getting a blank white screen only so let this simulator come up so that's it we've got a white screen and nothing much so let's close this thing i'm going to tell you what we are about to do so we are about to create a level here and a button here and we will make that button work and this views will be will not be dragged and dropped rather they will be created from the code in doing so you will understand how things work in xcode so let's start so uh, I'm going to tell you the program flow for the this application when this application launches it's going to get this main method called it's a C function and this is going to be called and this function in turn is called UI application main which in turn calls app delegate and it passed application control to app delegate so we are here so on the app delegate this file controls our application from the start to the end so this is the main starting point so we have dot h and m file and basically we want a window so this property right here is telling that we will have a window that's a type of ui window and what ui window is that's just a name object for what you can see on your screen so for one app you will always have only one UI window that's it no big deal one UI window is compulsory so in appdelegate.m we will see the implementation that's written for us so we have here self dot window that window property is allocated and initialized with a frame take in mind that this UI window must cover the entire screen if you are on iPhone and if you are on iPad you do not want to pass static values for the dimensions so what we are doing is we are getting the UI screen this is our object that is correspondent to the glass you touch on your iPhone or iPad so if you are on iPad UI screen means that big screen if you are on iPhone that is the small screen so it's dynamic so I'm saying in it with frame UI screen get me the main screen that means the glass and get me its size its property where is its x and y coordinates and how height it is and how wide it is so we allocated and we initiated this thing so now the white screen that you saw was this property so self dot window dot background color this means that if there is nothing to show, show this window as a primary color. So I'm going to change this and show you what it feels like. So I'm going to say blue color and I'm going to run it so that we can see a blue screen and we got it. And that is this line of code working. So let me change this back to white because Apple loves it and I love it too. So we want to create views now you would be tempted to create views directly here but I would say it's not recommended UI window is also at the top level of view hierarchy so this is the top thing that any view must reside on your every view controllers view will be inside UI window so inside that view controllers view you will have button lever and anything so views are directly not recommended here but what is recommended is you pass ui view controller is this ui windows root view controller that means to say self dot 
window dot we have a property root view controller and you can assign this to our view controller and what the application then does is when it loads it will pass the control to this view controller that you initialize here so this is the main page if you are coming from web development it's the home page that you pass here so um, I do not have any view controller so I'm gonna make that in just a second but as I said views are not recommended but I'm gonna make one and so you just prove that it works so I'm gonna create a level and I'm gonna say UI level alloc and in it it's a common pattern in iOS and I'm gonna pass four things that's where this should start what is the origin x and y coordinates so I'm gonna say it's going to be 10 points right I'm gonna say this is going to be 40 points down and I'm gonna say this will be 100 points wide and I'm gonna say this is 40 points height doesn't matter it's just a static values I think will work and try it by yourself so I'm gonna say the text so it's gonna be statically typed and as a string that's gonna be hi welcome hey I'm gonna say hey that's pretty much it add this to my view window self dot window add self view and you say I'm gonna pass a level and I'm gonna end it I'm not when I run it I must see that level and this is here but notice that I have got an error down here it's not error it's a warning so it says application windows are expected to have a root view controller at the end of application launch that means to say that when this UI window is finished launching UI window is recommended to pass view control or pass the control to a main view controller or root view controller it's saying that you should not have directs of views inside this UI window because that's gonna make your app limited so I'm gonna stop this thing and I'm gonna just cut this thing because I need it somewhere else so let's create a UI view controller so I'm gonna say new file and I'm gonna choose objective C class and I'm gonna say my view controller you can name it whatever you like so this is the bare bone skeleton and I'm gonna remove this lines of codes just to make sure it's clean and I'm gonna say uh, I need to have that view controller here so I say my view controller because that's the name we created and I'm gonna say new that's a new syntax the equivalent to alloc and init so I've got a uh, error here because I've not imported my view controller and this file does not know what I'm talking about so as soon as I do that it should go away and now I'm going into that view controller as soon as the UI window loads now I'm gonna draw something here and I can't draw randomly because I've got delegate methods that will be passed on to me so that I can draw and one of the delegate method that you might be familiar is view did load so this is one of the method and this is called just when outlets all the variables all the actions are been set and initialized from a storyboard but we do not have a storyboard and they are not set right now so we do not want our drawing code to be inside view did load but they will work fine for the simple cases so I'm gonna use another delegate method view, load view that's where we draw take in mind this one point every view controller must have a view so if we do self dot view it is available as a UI view and this view must take the whole entire screen and I say alloc and in it with frame and if I'm on iPhone and iPad I get different resolutions so I'm not going to do statically typing I'm going to do dynamic typing and uh, I, as I showed you previously I can do UI screen to get the screen of the device that this application is running on and I'm going to ask the main screen and I'm going to pass a message to get the bounds bounds means x y height and width so that's it we've initialized our self dot view and we can put any view that we draw inside this self dot view so I'm gonna paste that code and instead of UI self dot window I'm gonna say I'm um, self dot view and I'm gonna add this soft view and let me run this application and I must get the similar thing so I'm getting this but remember now I'm gonna say 
for the sake of your understanding I'm gonna say viewed view dot background color and I'm gonna change this to UI color and I'm gonna change it to green color I think that this looks awkward but whatever it is so I'm gonna run it this should be green and black text now why did I do that I wanted to show that in the first instance we were getting this white color now we are not getting this white color now this line of code is shifting the control from UI window to the view of my view controller so we are into this file and this is acting and this is acting so that's what I wanted to show you in case you were confused so now let me add button so I'm gonna say UI button that's so and it's gonna be BTN that's simple for me you can type anything you want lock and I'm gonna say in it and why do I do in it with frame for this kind of sub use because I'm not dragging and dropping from the uh, object library and I'm, I cannot position them myself so I need to have a way to position them on the screen so that's why I'm passing in this uh, values so I'm gonna say this is gonna be 20 points right and I'm gonna say this is gonna be 60 points down and this might be somewhere between 100 points right and let, let's make this 40 points height so that's it so instead of doing alloc and init we are doing with frame because this is a view and this has to be drawn on the screen and this frame lets our app know where to draw it on the screen relative to something else so do not do alloc and init or do not do ui button new so i'm gonna say button uh, and set title and my title gonna be click me or something like compelling and I'm gonna say UI control state normal so I'm gonna say button background color that's gonna be UI color I think this is gonna be set if you are using angle brackets set color and I'm gonna say blue color because that's a default color of the background and do not forget to put this view inside sub view so I'm gonna say self view add sub view and I'm gonna say button and I'm going I'm telling you once again that this line of code is very important up to this point you've created a UI button on the memory of your RAM of the device you've said the title you've said the background color but you never told the application to put it inside a view and we have our main view self dot view and that takes the responsibility of putting views inside that UI view or the screen so if I commented comment this line of code out and run this application I will not get a UI button but that is being created on the memory user can't interact I cannot see but that is there in your RAM so just don't leave it and go looking why this is not working so as I click I'm gonna I get this but these two things are drawing on top of each other object that you draw last will be on the front of the thing that you draw before that means to say that we drew hey first then we drew this button second now this button x and y are overlapping with the height and width of that level so we are getting the button on front and we are getting hey on back if we drew it button first and the level second we would have level on the front button on the back so let's clear this a little bit down so I'm gonna say this is gonna be 100 down so if I say run then this is okay so I'm gonna say this green color is awkwardly bad so I'm gonna just gonna comment it out so this is what we expected to make and we did make this from code no UI views, no dragging, dropping, no linking, no control dragging. That's all. That's simple. But this button is not working now. And we want this to work. So that's coming next. Thank you guys.